Yamaha's 2016 XSR 900 is a retro street bike success story. And deservedly so, because it takes the MT-09 stunningly charismatic, wheelie-tastic 847cc, 115bhp inline triple motor, its die-cast alloy frame, its upgraded USD forks and mono shock, and Yamaha's suite of traction control and engine mode electronics, and endows them with a splash of vintage color courtesy of styling and ergonomic changes. The result is a cracking motorbike. Plenty fast enough. Thrilling to ride. Comfy. Practical and stylish. It's arguably a perfect middleweight roadster. But the new, limited edition XSR 900 Abarth takes the base XSR 900 literally. The same chassis and engine, XA0 and revises the concept into something more akin to a 1960s. CAF, Z9 Racer Cum Modern Sports Bike Mashup. Merely by altering the XSR 900's riding position and adding tasty cosmetic modifications. It's a collision of new tech and old style, and has produced another classic Yamaha. But it's a classic that won't suit everyone. Yamaha built the new XSR Special in collaboration with the eponymous Abarth, a Fiat-owned Italian company who tune high performance small bore sports cars abart along with fiat have a long-term association with yamaha and both brands sponsor yamaha's modip team restricted to a total and promise yamaha a once only run of 695 bikes xa0 the xsr 900 abart is made up of a few parts from yamaha's accessories catalog and existing models such as the ace bars acropovi u010d steel and titanium exhaust and the nose cone from the discontinued xjr 1300 racer mixed with bespoke items specific to the abart the striking u2018 afterburner tail unit a solo sports seat, with suede cover and red stitching, and a special grey and red paint scheme with Abarth logos on the fuel tank. Front mudguard and tail, studying at the Abarth in the midday glare of a Sardinian launch. The differences to the base 900 stand out and give the new bike a completely different vibe. The matte grey and red paint is much prettier than it appears in the publicity photos and careful shaping of black trim lines cleverly slims the XSR's somewhat bulbous fuel tank. The carbon fiber nose cone combined with a unique carbon fiber, U2018 afterburner, tail section, which ends in the XSR's circular bank of red leads, gives the Abart a poise, skeletal, aggressive stance. It looks like it means business, but that's nothing until you get on it. The Abarth's ace bars are the same item, 